how do you see raising children in a nation like this? God, that shit was hard as fuck, God. That's why, I, even you though said it was, as, as, if, as if it was still not happening, right? Like, nah, because I'm the nation. Right, right. right. Well, I'm, the, I'm the living preservative, I'm the living preservation of the tradition. Right. So what I raise my kids is, no matter what, see, they don't, I don't give them lessons, homie, because you gotta want lessons. You gotta fast for three days to get lessons. You gotta show me you want it. And if you don't ever want it, it's fine with me because you're still a civilized or a righteous person. See, my job ain't, ain't to make my kids an imitation of myself. It's only gonna be a poor, poor imitation. I'd rather them be an expression of whatever they is. But my kids ain't religious. You see what I'm saying? My kids ain't, ain't foolish. My kids ain't consumers. My kids ain't even really like traditional kids in the sense of seeing the world that other kids do, the way other kids do. They move different. I can allow my 21 year old to take She's actually running my company now. Mm. So I can live out this teaching that's of being able to pass. Yeah, that's my oh. eldest. So that's, I got two kids. My twin. Now I claim a bunch of other kids. So right. if my kid got friends and the friends are spending more than one night over at the house, that's my child too. You feel me? I'm raising them. I'm responsible. I might teach them how to read. Mm -hmm. You know? That it should make you a real good uh, 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 bachelor. But, I, you know, because everybody wants you to raise their kid. But I be having to explain I'm not a bachelor. I'm a widower. Mm. You understand? I'm not an eligible bachelor. The girl asked me, a widower, what do the spiders got to do with it? <laughs> no, no, that's what you're not. That shit's so terrible. Don't nobody know what a widower is that look like me? You know, with a 21 year old kid? Like, you feel me? Like, it's an interesting life, God, and that's why I say only the knowledge itself could have prepared me for this. Only the knowledge itself could have made me be able to cruise through this smoothly like I'm looking like I'm doing now because I'm not faking it, like, I really feel good. You know, the high wall, that's a long time ago when the interview began, I still was a little buzz from what I was doing outside. Like, but, but I mean weed, by the way, because y'all do all <laughs> Let me be clear, if it ain't a green leaf, I don't want it in my system. I don't want it, no, for real. They took me to Colombia, they introduced me to the original coca, right? And they made me chew it. This shit didn't do nothing for, but give me energy. I was motherfucking alert as a motherfucker. But that was what they used to use it for. The workers would chew it. The farmers would chew the leaves just as like an energy. It's when you extract it and you graft it and you, you know what I mean? Then you turn it into a drug. Else, right? right, you made it the powder. Once it turned white, that should be your first time. If they start making white weed and y'all start smoking them, I'm done with all of y'all. Y'all are bobos. Yeah, cause they, you know they will. Oh, once they come out with the white weed? Tell me anything white is better. Vanilla is white and it's supposed to be black. Right, right. iPhones is popular really because they're white. Mm -hmm. And they kind of low key represent whiteness and exclusivity. You know, it's an exclusive club. You remember Android is open source. You could have Android in Bangladesh. Mm. Yeah, poor people could have that. Nobody want to be with the poor people group. Even though most iPhones, you just got their phone cracked so bad that you try to pinch something, you'll slice your finger off. If Mega did this. Mega did this.